Hi everybody and welcome back. Today I'm doing a university haul because scarily I'm off this weekend, although by the time this video is uploaded I'll already be there. Um, so these are, I was actually going to do everything I'm taking to uni to show you, but then I realised the amount of stuff you need to take. So these are things I've actually just bought specifically for going. So let's get started. First of all I'm going to do cooking stuff because I'm going self-catered. Um, even though I'm not a very good cook, mainly because I'm quite lazy and can't be bothered to make anything, but hopefully these things will encourage me to make some proper meals. And first is this massive um, kind of wok star pan. Hopefully I can make sort of big dishes and then freeze them up. And I bought this whilst I was in Canada because it was on sale and was much cheaper, even though I had to cart it back in my suitcase. And then I also got... Oh dear. Also from Canada I got this little saucepan for doing pasta and boiling eggs. And on the topic of eggs, inside, um, my mum bought me this little egg poacher. It's really cute, it's got little eyes on the top, so I really like that. And I bought a lot of things from TK Maxx because um, I find that all their cooking, like their homeware section, is all sort of discounted things. So I've got this little pig egg timer. Um, for like timing stuff I guess and then also in the same range I have a spatula and a little mini whisk I thought these were really really sweet um, and also um, I'll know which ones are mine in the kitchen and in the same kind of theme ooh, I have these little pig tongs type thing and then I couldn't get any more piggy stuff but I got pink stuff so I have this uh, silicon spoon and slotted spoon and a turner I think for like slicing stuff and a pink uh, vegetable peeler so hopefully those things will oh also a pink um, a tin opener and embarrassingly this is out of the packet because I had to practice using it because it was different to my one at home so <laughs> at least I know how to use it before I get to uni oh, and I also got a pink colander of course and then a measuring jug. Unfortunately, this didn't come in pink, so I had to go for a bog standard one. And a little mini cheese grater. This was also from TK Maxx. And a baking tray. Oh, this was from TK Maxx as well, so if I want to do like chips or anything like that, um, I have this to do it with. I also bought this sort of like biscuit tin type thing, this is um, an Emma Bridgewater design just so I can put like biscuits or stuff in and of course it's pink on the inside as well as having hearts on the outside which I really like. So once I've actually cooked my food I need stuff to eat it with so from Tesco I got this cutlery set, it's all in like a pastel kind of colours so I'll know which ones are mine. I also got um, four glass tumblers and these have like a little circle pattern all around them and then I also got these, well, it's all in the same design, it has little hearts and then it crosses. So I got two bowls, two side plates and then two big plates. And all of this stuff was, I think it was all reduced and then I also think my granny gave me some um, like vouchers so I had um, like half price off them I think. So definitely shop around and try and get the best deal because it can be quite expensive trying to get all the stuff you need. Okay, so on to kind of beauty stuff. Now obviously I'm going to be taking like my makeup and nail varnish and everything. But one of my friends for my birthday got me this really nice Ted Baker kind of wash bag, so I'm going to be taking this. And some of my other friends, as part of my birthday present, got me some body shop goodies. So I'll be taking these along as well, it's like a body wash, a moisturiser and a um, body mist. <laughs> so I'll be taking those two. I also bought some Soap and Glory um, body washes because these are my favourites. So I got the Sugar Crush and the Rich and Fomus ones. And obviously I need some shampoo to get me started, so these are the Moroccan Argan Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. These are quite expensive so I won't be buying them once I get to uni, but I thought I'd stock up now whilst I have some money left, so these are my favourite ones for like using. And then I've been told that dry shampoo is like essential as a uni student, so I have the Batiste one, this was on offer in Superdrug that I bought. And then my granny also bought me some new towels, I've got a pink one and a blue one, these are from Tesco's I think, so that was nice of her to get me some stuff ready to go off. And then on to like bedding stuff, so my room has got a single bed and my bed at home has a double bed, which is kind of annoying because I have to buy new stuff for it, but I went to John Lewis and I got, I actually ended up with kids bedding, okay, so I'm 18 I'm going off to uni, but I've ended up with kids bedding, mainly because I wanted something that would really brighten up the room because 
there's not that much space for your own decoration so if I have a bright coloured bed cover then hopefully it'll make the room look a bit nicer. But all the adult ones were kind of plain and boring so I've ended up with kids ones. The first one is this kind of like floral design and um, on the inside it has again pink, um, like a pink daisy pattern. Um, this is out of the packet because my mum washed it for me because um, you're supposed to do that before you use it apparently so I got that one and then I also got this other one which is really cute it's got elephants on it like that so they go all over the um, bed cover with like some flowers in between and then on the inside again pink it's got pink and white polka dots um, let me show you like that so I really like that even though it's kids bedding um, I hope it will make my room look a bit more cheery and interesting. To go with those I had to get some sheets, so I had some white ones or like creamy coloured ones already at home and then I just got these bright pink ones again from um, John Lewis to go with it. So I obviously need some actual books to go to university as well because um, I am actually there to study so I'm going to be doing English so they published a list of books that you need to have for your first kind of modules and I'm actually buying some books off a secondary student when I get to university but the other ones I bought off Amazon and eBay so some of them are like Gulliver's Travels, I have some poetry, Paradise Lost, um, The Odyssey of Homer and then I also had to get this massive um, the Norton Anthology of Theory and Criticism. So it's this absolutely massive book. It's full of like essays and critics and stuff like that. So hopefully I won't have to carry this around too much because it's super heavy, but apparently it's really, really useful for all of all the three years of my course. Stationery wise, I already had like a lot of folders and pens and pencils and all that kind of stuff that I'd need. But I bought some new um, notebooks and papers. So I like the Oxford campus notebooks. So I got one in blue, one in red, because I like writing on nice paper, so that has the nicest paper I find. And then I also got this student planner because I'd be lost without my diary. So this is one specifically for students, so I can jot down when on my like lectures and seminars and all that kind of stuff is, so I can stay on track of everything. And then not really related to stationery, but I also bought a alarm clock. This is from Tesco's, just in case my phone doesn't go off for some reason or whatever because I will actually have to get up for some lectures I'm not very good at getting up in the morning so hopefully this will help and I won't miss any lectures and then for going away my mum bought me a new handbag for my birthday so this is one that I've been eyeing for a while and she knew that so this is from Clark's which is where I got my last handbag and if you want to see that I'll link it in I'll, I did a what's in my bag video so it's just kind of black and then it has um, like a zip pocket and then some other pockets I like that it has a longer handle if I'm carrying like lots of books and stuff like that so this will be really useful for going to the library and like my lectures and stuff like that and then finally to decorate my room I recently went to the Harry Potter studio tour um, so I got a picture of me on a broomstick <laughs> this is it, my sister got one as well but I thought I'd put this up in my room to kind of brighten up and remember like a really nice day out with my family so that will be going up and I also ordered um, loads of prints on Photobox because when you sign up you get like, I think I got 60 print credits so I've ordered loads of photos that I can put up on a pin board. But I also got this, um, they had like a, I think it was like half price off their big poster prints. So I got one of my horse Archie who unfortunately I can't take to university. I had him on loan for four and a half years but I'm really lucky that he's going to be staying at the current yard and he's going to be used as um, a horse for the yard owner so I'm really happy because I can still visit him. But I will definitely miss him, so I bought um, this massive ooh, poster um, of like different pictures which can go up on one of my notice boards. So this is from Photobox and I really really like it because it has like all my favourite pictures of Archie and I. So this will go up on my big board and remind me of lots of happy times with him. So that's all the kind of things that I bought for university. Um, I'm sorry if this video was kind of rushed, but there's just so many things to get through. I've been kind of collecting it over quite a long amount of time, and then various people have like given me stuff as well, or I'm like permanently borrowing things from my parents that I might need. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already so you can check out when I upload new videos. I'll see you again very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Hi everyone and welcome back. Today's video is all about how to get into university because I just got offered my place 